Turning to sports, a bitter divorce and shaky finances have turned the Los Angeles Dodgers into a bad soap opera. Now Major League Baseball has had enough and is taking control of the team, but it may not be that easy. Let's get to Michelle Steele with the details on this. Hi, Michelle. Yeah, hey, Carol. You know, a team leveraged to the hilt by its real estate investor owners, shaky finances, and anemic ticket sales. No, we're not talking about the New York Mets this time, but the L.A. Dodgers. Uh, Commissioner Bud Selig says the move to take over day-to-day -day operations for baseball's third most valuable valuable franchise motivated by, quote, deep concerns regarding the finances and operations of the Dodgers. Now, if you're just tuning into the soap opera that is the Dodgers divorce, the last few months haven't been good ones uh, for owner Frank McCourt. December 2010, just last year, the judge throwing out a marital agreement that would have made Frank sole owner. In February, Selig rejected a proposal for Fox to loan $200 million to Frank. In April, Frank gets a $30 million loan from Fox, the broadcast rights holder. Now, that was a personal loan. Uh, the league does not have control over personal loans, and it looks like Frank was just trying to get around league rules to cover his finances. Now, as far as where the team is now, according to McCourt Insiders, the Dodgers' debt load stands at around $525 million, the majority of it borrowed against future ticket sales. Not good when those sales are looking anemic for the Dodgers. Just 39,000 fans on average per game versus 45,000 for the same games last year, Carol. So, Michelle, I want to cut to the chase. Ultimately, are we going to see the Dodgers sold? Yeah, let's bottom line this, mm -hmm. right? Uh, that's what we're hearing from multiple media reports this morning, all citing unidentified sources uh, that say that Selig may potentially force a sale here. The last time baseball took over a team, the Expos, of course, in 2002, we did see a sale. But McCourt put out a statement last night sort of signaling here that he's not going down without a fight. And he's got enough lawyers. Yes, <laughs> he certainly does. They all do. Michelle, thanks. Come